Good morning. Day two aboard the new boat. Slowly starting to feel like we aren't squatting in someone else's boat. But anyway, yesterday was a really good amount of progress. Deep cleaned the entire kitchen, the galley. Today, this morning, we have hopefully water trucks coming to the marina to give everyone water. So our job is to have a hose in the deck fill and the hose on, ready for them to turn it on because it's kind of going to come at any time. And so we don't want to miss any of the amount of time they're going to turn it on for us. Apparently they only turn the water on for about a half an hour. So we're going to try to put a full two tanks in, huh? Yeah, as much as we can. So that's the plan. There you go. 87% humidity. We didn't, we didn't have a deck fill on sea wind. This is new. We'll let it run a little bit once they turn the water on. Yeah, good idea. Um, okay, so starboard water tank, port water tank. The port water tank is just for the water maker. Is that what they said? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have both on equals equalize. Starboard water tank is on right now. Port water tank is off. So that means, so here is the pickup from the starboard water tank. And then this is the feed line to the pump. So this is what the pump is pulling through. And then it just depends on which one you have open. And we have been using the right tank then to clean and stuff. Right, we have been using the starboard tank. But I'm confused because, so we have this foot pump right here. Right. This foot pump pumps water through so here. So that must be a separate pickup on just the port tank. We're learning, people. Because it's not a pressurized system, right? It's just pulling through that, drink. that drinking water plumbing, which I want to put my eyes on it. Not right now, but like, this is just stuff that we're gonna have to familiarize ourselves with. We are set up to put some water in the starboard tank. That's a little dog tooth snapper, I think that. Yeah, right here. The yellow one. There's a sergeant major, the striped. Oh, there's more sergeant majors and some parrot fish. Yeah. Big parrot fish. Cool. I have a question. What? Should we get the dock, the dock cart that's open to carry the stuff over to the free table and then we can get a couple boxes? Oh yeah. Do you okay. want to do that? Yeah. Well, it's, it's free, it's like open. You know? Okay, we're going to get our packages. We're only getting a few or maybe one box right now. They're in this building. There are two boxes. Like one has two. most of our clothes. Yeah, two boxes that we need right now. Starlink. Yeah, one has our Starlink, one has some clothes, and we're meeting Yvonne over here. Okay, so we got a list here we wrote down. We have our boxes numbered. So what are we looking for here? So this first one is the one that's on mm -hmm. top. I'd like to put our kitchen stuff away. Okay. Because it's easy to put away. Okay. So box number five. One, five, this is five. Okay, so that's the Starlink. Starlink, yeah. I'm glad it looks like it survived pretty well. Yeah. Box two is also closed. So what do you want to take? Starlink, one, two, three. two, three? Or, yeah, because this is five. closed. Yeah. Three, I'm sorry, three. Yeah, that's just clothes and packing, too. Okay. They're a little worse for the wear. Not too bad. But not too bad. That's pretty light, isn't it? Or And we go. Do 
raining. It's raining. <laughs> Yay. Woo. Oh, thank God. Let's hopefully let's just hopefully it just opens up and it just down towards. Yeah. Once we get the boxes under the under the uh, cover. Yeah. They just splashed me from the pool. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's unload. I just sliced open the first box. This is our first three out of seven. These are like easy, tangible items we can put away. Yeah, yeah. So here we go. Gonna do a smell test. Actually, it smells perfectly fine. That's great. We were wondering if they got wet on the ship, you know what I mean? But it doesn't look doesn't like, look any like anything got wet. They just oh, got a little smooshy. Just a little crunched. So here's a sweatshirt of mine. I didn't, like don't even want to own this right now. <laughs> I'm gonna like burn it. Yeah. Um, oh look, some backpackers meals. Yeah, nice. oh my god. These might come in handy in the next uh, couple weeks. You know what I can do as we're going through the boxes too? Mm -hmm. You can throw them down that hatch. Oh yeah. Yeah, I can hand things to you actually. Yeah. If you want to go down there. Okay. Um, I just kind of see Here's our magma pots. Scale. Here's our kitchen scale. Uh, oh, our walk. Some coffee, coffee. Clothes that we'll never wear for a really long time. A little time. medical kit. Yeah, clothes that we'll never wear. I wish we wouldn't even ship this stuff now. Mm -hmm. Here's some mugs. I wonder yes. if all of our mugs are okay. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm all sure. right. Well, you can throw me stuff down. And... Okay. Okay. Let's all do right. this. Okay. I already have a vision of putting all this stuff away. What's the vision? Well, I'm gonna go up to the V berth and I'm gonna wipe out all the cabinets because that's where they store a lot of their sheets and extra blankets. And I'm gonna store all of our um, blankets, sheets. I'll be able to organize all the extra stuff up in the linens and everything up there. And then we'll be working on the aft one. We'll be able to wipe out all the cabinets. And most of our stuff is just me putting stuff back in my packing cubes. Mm -hmm. So then I'll be able to just put, we can put clothes up. That's like a lot of the stuff is in here. Mm -hmm. All of this can already go in places. That's a great idea, little bum. Thank you. Okay, we just heard the water come on. And uh, Katie's outside, is it still going? Yeah. Is the water gauges on? I'm gonna turn them on now. So here we go. Tank gauges on water gauges. So we are filling the starboard. Oh, there we go. It was on a quarter, now it's on half almost. Nice. And we got a thunder and rain clouds coming. Hopefully it rains. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, rain. Here we go. Chilling. Yeah. All right. Agua. <laughs> it's exciting. Like my ear popped, you know, but like in my jaw. I don't know, it was a weird feeling. Oh, geez. But it felt good. Mm -hmm. Ooh. All right. It was right here. This one. Oh, nice. The 
wind feels good. I'm just like soaking it up. Uh, right. We're gonna soak this up. How uh, much, uh, how many? We're about like? five eighths of a tank right now. Was that good? Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> Feels good to not be sweating for a little while. I was able to scrub, scrub the decks with the fresh water. Oh, that's Katie, that's so funny. Like, I'm not used to the noises of the boat yet. And Katie was just pumping the toilet. And I had no idea what was going on. I thought it was like my phone vibrating or something. <laughs> so we have a full, a full tank on the starboard side. So that's good. Did these windows leak? Um, a little when it rained harder. Even though it was angled out. Like when they were open. Yeah. Yeah. I almost want to be in here when it like torrentially downpours and I have everything closed so I can see if anything leaks. Okay, so I took all the sails out of the sail locker, which is right here. It's this enormous compartment, like Katie and I could both fit down in here side by side very comfortably. And here's the 120 Genoa. Here is an orange storm tri-sail and then underneath here is the spinnaker. But what I'm going to do is clean it all out because there's just a bunch of dust and everything down in the bottom. And here's the, this is the, the uh, gyro and the compass for the autopilot. So we're going to kind of just clean this up in here. I'm going to wipe the walls down in vi with vinegar and then I'm going to put everything back in. So everything looks pretty good. Here's the two big heavy cables for the anchor windlass. Here's a washdown hose that is sending raw water from the pump that's underneath the floor up there out up to the deck to the bow and um and just a little bit of wiring just wanted to show you guys this compartment because not too often that you empty it out to clean just trying to get some of the dirt off because now now we'll know if there's like a water streak or a dirt line that looks like water came in yep. later. And also, cleanliness is next to godliness. Here's the V berth. Sail locker put back together. A bunch of spare stuff, like a huge amount of spare stuff in here. Chain locker forward chain locker, all the cabinets. Katie's gonna wipe this down now and then we're gonna put the mattress back. There she is. Are you sweating as much as I am? They're probably sweating more, right? Yeah. Okay. okay, so now that we know a little bit more about the water system from filling it up today, um, I'm gonna explain to you guys how it's set up right now. So we have a port and starboard tank, and the starboard tank is the one that we filled up today. Then under the sink here in the galley, we have a water filter, which is just like a Camco water filter for an RV. Um, and it is for the drinking water, and it pulls from the port tank exclusively. And the way it pulls from that tank is this little foot pump down here. So we have you pump this and then there's a dedicated tap that is just for potable water, drinking and things like that. We don't know the state of the inside, like Katie and I don't know the state of the inside of any of the water tanks right now. Um, we don't know the state of the port tank. All we know is that they told us that there is only RO water in there, desalinated water from the water maker in there currently. Now it sat for three months and there was a filter in that was changed, I think in January of this year, but 
it's been six months and since we just wanted to start fresh they had a couple of extra filters i just changed it and so now the port side tank which is only about a quarter full which would be i don't know right around like 17 or 18 gallons um that is what we are going to start drinking the water from oh boy it is 96 percent humidity outside since it rained and 74 percent in here 88 degrees outside and 89 in here so the name of the game is staying cool and hydrated as much as possible kind of tough to do when you get so involved with taking things apart and then hours go by and you realize you haven't drank anything but we're doing a pretty good job of staying hydrated katie just went up to get some powerade for us which we don't normally drink powerade or gatorade or anything like that but right now it's we're going to made for a reason. it's made for a reason that's for sure and this is one of the reasons fully hydrated and energized from the powerade and floor sit katie jumped right into putting our clothes away in actual drawers. We have clothes drawers. Nothing ended up being stuffed full and everything had a new home in our new home. Neither of us took off work to move in, and so this was in addition to our full-time computer work hours. It felt like a bomb went off and we decided to set up shop at ground zero. Nonetheless, I was so excited to finally get another look at all the systems on Boundless. We began opening up storage spots, trying to figure out what tools, spares, and other items we now own, and if what we brought with us was a good addition or completely unnecessary. On top of that, one of our refrigerators stopped working. A more detailed look into that later. But no worries, because Katie found some hidden treasure in the depths of the nav station. Oh boy. We found the ship's purse. Colin and Julian you left all your treasure here. Costa Rica, Mexico. the Panamanian Balboa. No, this is Mexico. Oh, this is Mexico. This is uh, Mexico, Panama, the United States, Canada. Seeing the currency from different countries makes me think of the places that this boat has seen before us and how many it will see with us. It's not that we don't like rugs. These are just kind of funky. Dirty. Look how open it looks though, too, with that. And, and I how think cool we're the kind of, floor looks. Like. Yeah, we're kind of partial to the beautiful floor. I wouldn't mind something maybe under here where we put our feet, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And something in the kitchen. So what are we doing in the morning? Give us a rundown. This is our first excursion. Go ahead and say that. Our first excursion. Wait, hold on, you got it. What? Go ahead now. I'm confused as to how you want me to start. Like, I thought you were just asking me a question and like, give us a rundown and I would say something, but then I, do you mean for, what do you mean? 
you know what I mean? Like, give us a rundown. Anyway, but then you have to like wait for me to, because I, I, I tend to talk over you. Mm -hmm. So like, that's why I said, wait, wait, wait. Because I, I need to give a, like a second or so from the editing purposes, right? Oh. Of me not talking, so I don't like talk over you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tomorrow. We are, we signed up for Shadow Live Summer Fridays for work, so even though I like work here and there to catch up on stuff, like I don't have to log into work on Fridays. So we need to desperately go grocery shopping. So it will be quite the adventure, our first grocery shopping experience, like in Panama. Also like everything is sort of in Spanish. So it might take us a while to navigate, but we will find our way, I'm confident. We've been doing really good speaking Spanish. You've been doing very good speaking Thank Spanish. You. You've been really good at trying. <laughs> Thank you. At least you've been trying and asking questions, you mm -hmm, know. Mm -hmm. You could just not. And uh, so we're gonna do that, and then I really just really, really need to get on my yoga mat. I'm feeling like ungrounded and a little yeah. crazy, so. I think both of us are going to roll out our mats in here and do some yoga together. I sat on Zoom for a gazillion hours. I had back-to-back -back meetings all day. And you made breakfast, did some research on stuff, and then you put away two of our duffel bags, which was a huge, you know, not in its permanent place, but like in categories, like in the cupboards, where it's like when we start going through everything it's kind of nice because then we could go through both the things that were already here and what we brought together. So, it'll be great. We're actually making really good progress going through everything, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, going shopping in the rain. Yep. Does anyone else have a thing for old buses? I mean, how cool is this old diesel-powered Toyota? Our first experience going grocery shopping riding on the Shelter Bay shuttle was to a place called Cuatro Altos, just outside of the city of Cologne. A quick 25-minute-ish drive and a drop-off at The Ray, a surprisingly well-stocked store with reasonable prices. We set off trying to read labels in Spanish and filling our cart with some familiar items and a lot of new-to-us items as well. <laughs> what is that? Sheep's cheese. Oveja Crado San Rufino. Quesos al Pastor. So it's uh, won a World Cheese Award in 2020. On 2022. 
but it's sheep's cheese that we can like peel and put on with some cucumbers and stuff. Snack. Of course. Uh, Wouldn't be us. Needed some nutritional yeast. Some really good peanut butter. You would be surprised how hard it is to find good peanut butter. And by good peanut butter, we mean just like peanuts and salt. Or just peanuts. And this is just peanuts and salt. So. Hershey's like special dark. We got noon hydration tablets though. Because someone, <laughs> Katie Parker, sometimes have get dehydrated uh, with sweating so much, especially when we're like working in the heat and humidity. Some cereal. We got these chippy coconut aminos, because this is our go-to for rice and stuff. And we got this really good pasta. Uh, it's organic Italian wheat. We got a linguine and a spaghetti. So we're at the end of F dock. This is the next dock over. Found this is on that dock over there. And here's like the mangroves. The water's a pretty color here. Mm-hmm. Which is a good sign for when we get out of like the marina and stuff. Yeah. You know? Maybe it was just a a uh, unique moment that day we did the sea trial on Boundless when it was so murky, yeah. you know? Are you enjoying your Heineken Zero? I am. Good. And here, yeah, like birds and stuff. Like mm-hmm. All right, let's go continue our dock walk. We're at the uh, extreme what would this be, the western end? Yeah. Yeah, of the marina. One of our favorite things to do is dock walk, looking at different boats and seeing how people outfit them to suit their needs. If you end up in Panama aboard your vessel, you have likely sailed a long distance or have crossed an ocean, unless you just bought your boat here, of course. We've seen flags from Europe, Japan, Germany, the United States, Canada, and so many more. This place is a major pivoting point for people cruising the world. You have the choice of two completely different oceans, the Atlantic and the Pacific, separated only by the Panama Canal, and which one your heart desires. Speaking of desires, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. It means the world to Katie and I. And turn on the notifications so you don't miss an episode. If you really enjoy our videos and would like to support their production, head over to patreon.com forward slash sailing seawind to become a member for as little as $3 an episode. Ah, uh, Boundless is such a pretty girl. She is. There she is. I can't wait to take some of the canvas off and wash the boat. Yeah. And like make the cockpit like we can sit in the cockpit and, you know, yeah. hang out, have dinner. Thank you. It's so crispy. This is our first time sitting in the cockpit with this table. Just so we have, yeah, just us, yeah. So we have cucumber with pepper 
some sheep cheese that we uh, indulged in buying, and some really good crisp rye cracker things, crispy rye cracker things. Really good. Swedish breads. Swedish breads, yeah. Crisp bread. So our diets are changing with the location. Sometimes that's hard, but also exciting. And uh, we're always finding ways to nourish our bodies, huh? Yeah. All right, go ahead. I love these like thin little slices. Mm -hmm. So we got some cucumber with black pepper. One out of ten. Nice. All right. Went for a walk. Now we have a cold drink and a snack. Love you. And the dessert of the day is passion fruit. Did you just blow that off? Maybe. <laughs> Was it hot? Yeah. <laughs> How good is it? Mm. Is passion fruit one of your favorite fruits? Yeah. These are the biggest passion fruits of the year. They're like pretty massive. 